Hi everyone, Chris here from Profit Squirrel. How are you all doing? Really, really well, I hope. I hope you're making profits and I hope you're getting on well with your match betting. In this video, what I want to talk about is shared liability. Now, this is a topic that I have touched on in some of my other walkthrough videos, some of the longer ones. I've definitely gone over it a little bit and I think I've even explained what it is. But I thought as it's a topic that people do get confused on and it can be a really useful thing to understand, it might benefit from having its own own standalone video where I go over it again and then I just give you a little bit more of a specific in-depth example as to what it is as to how it tends to manifest itself in real life when you're actually match betting. So that's what this video is about. What I'm going to do is link you in the comments below to this coaching guide on profitscroll.co.uk and then you can read for yourself all the details of shared liability, how it works and also you can follow along with this video if you want to with that guide. So if that's you, if you've got yourself a Profit Squirrel account, then go ahead, click that link below and you can follow along as I talk through this video. If you don't have a Profit Squirrel account, no worries at all, we're gonna go over everything in this video as well. So let's check it out. So what is shared liability? Well, before we go into that, you need to know what liability is. Now I'm sure most of you watching this probably do, but just in case you don't, a quick 10 10 second overview. Basically, liability is what you risk in the betting exchange when you place your lay bet. It's essentially the cost of losing your lay bet. If it doesn't work out for you, then you're going to pay whatever the liability is. Now, in match betting, that's not normally a problem because we are backing with the bookmaker at the other end. So if we're losing the liability at the exchange, then we're going to be winning at the bookmaker. So cool, it all balances out. And that, of course, is the magic of match betting. But that is what liability is. And that's how it sort of factors into the bets that you place on the betting exchange. Now, shared liability, that is a situation that you can get where you're placing multiple lay bets on the same market. So within the same market, I should say, on the same sporting event. So for example, say there's two football teams playing and you're placing lay stakes on all the potential outcomes. So on team one winning, on uh, there being a draw and on team two winning, then you have three lay stakes and you have them all within the win market on the betting exchange. And those three are gonna benefit from shared liability. If you were placing a lay bet on uh, the win market and you were placing another lay bet on a different market, for example, the number of goals in a match, and that's an example that I highlight here, of both teams to score, for example, those bets would not share the liability. That's an important thing to realize because actually they are within different markets. So it has to be within the same market in order for the shared liability to occur. And what is basically happening when you're getting shared liability? It means that literally the amount of liability that you need to place those three lay bets is less than it would be otherwise because it is somewhat shared between the three bets that you have put on. Or if you put on two bets or four bets or whatever, as long as they're within the same market, then they're going to be sharing some liability and that means that you need to have less in your betting exchange in order to place those lay bets than you think you might otherwise have to. And funnily enough, that is the first advantage of sharing liability at a betting exchange, and that's one of the reasons why you might want to do it. Now, I'll go into that benefit a little bit more in a minute, but let me just run you through this example as well, because what I want you to do is see the maths behind how this actually works. Now, if you're not interested in the maths of this, then you can basically skip towards the end of the video, or you can skip to the end of this article where I'm just gonna sum up what the basic benefits are of shared liability. But if you are interested in a little bit more detail as to how this works, then stick with me here. It's pretty simple stuff, and it should just give you a little bit of an overview of what's possible with shared liability and in what sort of situation it would actually uh, come up. So with that being said, let's dive into this example here, right? So as I mentioned, I gave you an example a few seconds ago, there are three lay bets being placed here and they're being placed in the same market. So this is a football game, Man United versus PSG. 
and we've essentially laid against all the outcomes here. So we've laid against PSG, we've laid against the draw, and we've laid against Manchester United. And on each of these, we've noted down the lay stake here, which has probably been calculated for us by the Profit Squirrel calculator. So the first one, 23881, the second one, 18 pounds 59, third one, 46 pounds 72. And then at the various odds, we have been given a liability amount. And as I'm sure all of you know, the liability is the amount that you need to have in the betting exchange in order to place the lay bet. So if you add all of these up here, then they come to £677.77. pence. So you might expect that in order to place these three lay bets, it would be pretty logical to assume that, hey, how much do I need to deposit into the betting exchange? Oh, it's 677 0.77. Well, actually, that is not the case. It is not that much. And that is down to shared liability. So let's check out why that is. So basically, with the shared liability, we've worked out that you only have £495.91 at risk. So instead of needing to deposit 67777, only need to deposit that smaller amount. Now, this, as I'm sure you realize, is a screenshot from Smarkets, and Smarkets is pretty good because it actually kind of works out our overall position for us automatically on that market with those lay bets. And you can see this red figure here, 49591, the maximum loss. That is actually the same figure here that we've worked out previously as to what our maximum liability will be. I'll show you how to work that out in a minute by hand if you need to. But essentially what this is saying is it's looking at each of the particular scenarios and looking as to what will happen if you win. So for example, if Man United win this, then you'll be £188.25 in profit if that lay bet wins. If it's a draw, you'll be £238.13 in profit. And if the result comes through for PSG, then you'll be down 49591 So basically what this means is that there is a maximum amount that you can lose on the exchange. And the exchange will only take the maximum amount. And this is because in events like this, there is only one possible outcome. One of these three things, has to happen so therefore it will only take the largest amount as the liability and this is something that is really useful in horse racing as well and this is the example I think I've given before in my horse racing tutorials so say you're trying to complete a refund if offer and you get a refund if the horse finishes second, well then what you'll be looking to do is maybe back as many horses as you can that are likely to finish second, many that have like a good qualifying loss as possible. And, and if you can do that, then there's generally no harm in backing two or three horses at the same bookmaker. And as I mentioned before, you can also go to other bookmakers as well, and you can probably cover most of the racing field with between one or two or maybe three bookmakers. And then what you can do is lay all of those off at the same betting exchange. Now, because you're in the same market, the win market probably in horse racing, and because you're within the same race as well, then that will combine the liabilities of all the horses that are running. Because only one horse can win, so therefore if you're laying that horse, i.e. you're betting that the horse will not win, that can only happen to one horse. So you're basically only risking the highest liability. And you will benefit from shared liability on all of the other lay bets that you place. So it makes it much, much easier to cover a horse race, back multiple horses, and then you don't need quite as much liability in the betting exchange. It's a really cool thing, and it's something that you should be aware of because you don't want to be holding yourself back from placing more bets than you could be in order to qualify for more refunds just because you don't understand that you could be doing it. So in this example here, the written example that we have, we actually go ahead and we break down exactly how those profit and loss amounts are worked out. I'm not gonna go into that there because it's not really that relevant. You don't need to know it. Smarkit calculates it for you and I'm pretty sure Betfair and the other exchanges do similar things as well. But if you're interested, the math is there. But I will draw your attention to this section here. We call it a simple formula. And basically what this does is this allows you to work out 
how much liability you're going to need in the exchange in order to cover this. And this can be really useful. For example, say you've placed a couple of bets already, a couple of lay bets. You're thinking of placing a third one, but you're not sure if you have enough money, if you have enough that you can put into the exchange in order to do so. This is a really useful formula. It will help you work out what the total liability would be overall, and then if you've got enough to cover that. And essentially what this formula is, it's the biggest liability that you're seeing minus the total lay stakes of the other selections. So in this example, we had one of 49591. Okay, that's your biggest liability. So if we subtract the two lay stakes for the Manchester United bet and the draw bet, and you can go back up to the top here, and you can see that they are £18.59 and £46.72. We'll head back down here, and this is the little calculation that we've got here. So our overall liability is 561.22 minus 65.31 equals 495.91. And that is exactly the same outcome that was being given to us here. So cool, that's a very useful thing. There's a couple of other useful little benefits as well uh, to shared liability. The main one is the fact that you need less money in your exchange. The second one that I would say is a good advantage is that if you ever need to cash out a bet, if you make a mistake, then it's going to mean that you need to place a lower back bet. So the cash out method that I'm talking about here is the one where you go into the exchange and you actually back the event that you've already laid in order to cancel it out in that way. I'm not talking about when you hit the cash out button or other ways of cashing out. There are a few different methods. Um, I think I have mentioned that in a video before, but maybe that could benefit from a standalone video as well. If you're interested in a cash out video, uh, let me know below and I'll run through the different methods that you can use to correct any mistakes you might make or to cash out. But essentially, say you are placing that back bet at the exchange to counteract a lay bet that you've placed, it's going to mean because there's less liability that you need less of a back bet. So that can be really useful if you're making any little adjustments on a horse race or something like that, for example, you're gonna need less funds to do it. And we like getting better results using less funds. So it's all good stuff, really. And then the final main benefit of shared liability is that you pay less commission. And that essentially is because your overall return is going to be lower, but the benefits of covering multiple outcomes and uh, also of having less cash, being able to do more offers with less cash, probably make up for this lower overall return, I think, in general. So we break it down here, the amount of commission you would expect to pay, say you were paying 5% on this exchange, and we break down the amounts here, but then actually we've calculated it on the whole amount and the amount of commission that you would be paying in this scenario uh, is about three, four pounds uh, cheaper than you would expect. So that's a cool little benefit as well. Basically, you don't need to work this stuff out every single time. You can allow the exchange to do it for you, but it's just useful to know the mechanics behind it so you kind of get an idea of what's happened in the exchange. So that's essentially it. In summary, you need less cash in an exchange, you will pay less commission, and it is cheaper to do any cash out or correct any mistakes should you need to do so. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it has given you a little bit more knowledge and enhanced your skills in your match betting, allowing you to make more and more profits. This is the channel to watch if you wanna be making more money with match betting. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out, we post new videos every single week. Drop me a comment below if you've enjoyed this or if you have a question, or if you have any suggestions on other videos that I should make. I'm always really happy to hear those and I love making videos for all of you. Thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you all again really, really soon. Bye for now.